another nice day. Yeah, beautiful day out there, Jasper. The last time we will be able to say something like that and uh, combined with very mild weather, something that's abnormally warm. I mean, we will have, I'm sure, nice days here and there, uh, but nothing like this, where we are 20 degrees above the seasonal average at lunchtime, and we still have a few hours of daylight ahead of us. Here's time lapse, beautiful sunrise from Assisi Heights. That's our Lewis Donato camera. And uh, just a couple of extra clouds versus what we had yesterday. We, uh, we took until about four in the afternoon yesterday to even see a single cloud here in Rochester. Today we just had a few very thin cirrus clouds thus far. But looking northeastward, uh, not a cloud at least in that direction. But that will change in time. Clouds will build in and temperatures will actually level off and then begin to fall. A cold front is on its way, but ahead of that front, mild southwest breeze. Ushering that warm air, continue to pump in that warmth. Uh, this is uh, again our Lewis Donato camera from the studio at the, K at the KTTC weather patio. It's 50 degrees right now, feels like 45. Winds out of the southwest, 10 miles per hour. Air pressure is rising across the map, mainly 40s to low 50s already at this hour. Again, we're only an hour or two away from the cold front's arrival, so look for high temperature by mid afternoon, and then we begin that slow descent. It's something a bit colder, and we'll feel that tonight and over the next few days. 48 right now in Rochester, Dodge Center 52. Mason City already 53 at this hour, and Decorah 52 uh, there in northeast Iowa. A bit of a brisk southwest breeze makes it feel like 42. Winds 16 miles per hour, and we'll have to deal with that, that cold wind or that cooler feeling wind uh, for today into the evening hours. Then we'll look at the clouds take over. Temperatures on the colder side the next few days, and eventually that will lead to a chance of light snow in parts of the area heading into the early stages of the weekend. But sunshine, a few patches of clouds here and there, but thicker clouds in the northwest along and behind that approaching cold front. And certainly those will fill in uh, for the tail end of the day and for tonight. And that also with that cold front ahead of a storm system to the southwest, it will bring those snow chances for some of us uh, in the next couple of days. But 48 in Rochester, Waterloo 53, Des Moines 56 right now. On the other side of the front, just a couple of hours away, it's 39 in Morris, 44 in Sioux Falls. So it's not a, a dramatic drop off, but there will certainly be a more pronounced uh, uh, fall off in those temperatures over the next few hours. 48 by 4 o'clock. Dropping into the 30s this evening with that wind around 10 to 15 miles per hour. Uh, so 51, the expected high will drop to around the freezing mark. Stay there most of the night into tomorrow. Not see much recovery at all tomorrow uh, throughout the entire day. Future track watching the storm system move through. There's the cold front by mid to late afternoon. And it will have moved through. The clouds will take over at that point. We'll have clouds through tonight. Kind of a chilly north breeze. It will slowly begin to subside a little bit. Tomorrow, extra clouds. Mid 30s for highs, and then we'll see some very light snow develop late in the afternoon in parts of northeast Iowa locally, and then a wave after wave of very light snow in that same area through tomorrow night into early Saturday before things begin to dry out. And we may even see some breaks of sunshine late in the day Saturday. Better chance on Sunday of seeing the sunshine. A trace amount of snow flurries or very light snow showers, a half inch or less somewhere in the De decor area down to the southwest, and then just outside a local area, an inch or two of snow possible in that snow event. The computer models all agree on that, keeping everything south east of us over the next couple of days. So for the outlook of uh, some snow tomorrow evening and Saturday, maybe a couple light snow showers next Tuesday, but really nothing to shovel out of any of this for most of us anyway. And temperatures uh, much more seasonable the coming days within a few degrees of the climate average. No more 40s and 50s to say the least. 20s and 30s have become more the story in the long term. But 51 in Rochester today, 50 in Albert Lee. And 51 in Zabrota. Those will be mid afternoon highs before you see temperatures slowly uh, taper off. Uh, 51 in uh, Saratoga and 53 in Mason City with breezy and mild, mostly sunny. With those winds out of the southwest up to 20 miles per hour. Tonight, north winds, clouds, and 30 degrees. And uh, tomorrow, light snow showers in parts of the southern part of the area late in the day. Otherwise, cloudy and cold. Brisk northeast wind, 35 the high. Seven-day forecast, 30s over the weekend. A little afternoon sunshine, maybe Saturday, but better chance of sun on Sunday. And still a fair amount of sunshine, but a lot of chilly weather headed our way for next week, Jess. It will feel much different, won't it? Winter is coming back. This has been great.